Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Mary. We're doing card number four in this series for the June card kit for Simon Says Stamp. I did two shaker cards. You know I can't ever turn down a shaker card. And so I decided to do two, same but different. And here I wanted to show you my Spectrum Noir um, chart that I've been working on. I thought I had all of the markers, but to my dismay, I did not. So to the internet I went and I got all the pastels ordered. So I'm super excited about that, and then I get to finish my whole entire rainbow. It's so pretty. Okay, so I am st taking the larger of the singular ro um, roses, peonies, carnations. We're just going to keep adding names to these flowers until I find out what they are. And I am going to color half of them in the pink using these four BP colors. And then I'm going to use... Um, PL colors to color in half of them purple and that's just going to give me a little bit of variance when I'm laying them out on my card. After I'm done with that I'm going to fussy cut every single one of them. Now I don't cut this fast. I sure wish I did. What's the one thing that you wish you did faster? Because when you watch videos it gets sped up. I think fussy cutting would have to be my number one and then rounding that out would have to be putting down foam tape. That takes forever. Okay, anyway, back to the card. So I've distressed using the worn lipstick and then I have used the water droplet technique, cutting out that heart from this panel here. And um, I did this for both. Now I cut out, obviously from the video, if I did it in one, I didn't show you in the other. So the other card I used Wilted Violet for the distressing. That did not come with the kit. That's something that I had. And now I'm going to stamp out on black cardstock, white heat emboss, my sentiments. Both let the list begin and congratulations. So I do that and cut those down. Now I'm adding some tape runner to the back of my heart. And I'm going to lay down some really nice, thick acetate. If you order from Hero Arts, their monthly kit, sometimes you get acetate from them. And I find it to be the best. It's so strong and thick, and I just think it is really nice. Okay, here is that foam tape situation. Now, I have removed both ends of the backing so that I could shape it around my heart. So that's a little trick if you don't want to just keep cutting, cutting, cutting. You can just take it off and place it around. Once I did that, I covered the rest of my panel in foam tape. You want to make sure you do that as well because then it'll lay even on your card base. And now I'm filling it up with some Pretty Pink Posh confetti sequins. These are the ones without the hole in them. They're so pretty. And then as well as some black sequins that I had in my stash. Okay, so I'm going to place down the cardstock that came with the kit. This is the Love, beautiful scripted Love on the cardstock. I'm going to place that down and then cover the backing with some tape runner as well so that it's sticky all over the back. Placing that down on my card base which is Nina 110 pound uh, top folding. And moving on to the second card here, this is where I'm going to place down all my flowers. Now if you notice I'm going back and forth from one side to the other and I'm doing that just so that I can maintain some symmetry between both sides. Um, that's going to help me as I go. If I just go straight down one side, then it may catch me up and I may be off. This way I'm keeping it even. And I'm going alternating colors. I've taken a one inch square punch, pulled out a punch. Did you hear that? A punch. <laughs> Haven't used those in a long time. So I'm trying to use what I have. And I just cut that banner in there. I'm laying down my Let the Bliss Begin. Now the congratulations on the pink card came out crooked. And go figure, I used my Misty. That was co obviously completely operator error. I don't know how that happened. I'm covering all those flowers in some Spectrum Noir sparkle pen. And to show you a little close-up of how much that sparkles, that adds a lot to the card. All right. So here I am laying down my congratulations, re-stamped and heat embossed so that it could be straight. And that, I believe, I like it, actually. That little banner at the... the Blah, blah. <laughs> at the bottom, that is um, going to help um, make it kind of, I don't know, look kind of ties it in, makes it look clean. So here I'm showing you, I always stamp off, or sorry, 
squeeze off a little bit of my enamel dots. But if you look at my um, technique there, I was swirling it at the top. I slowed it down for you so that you can see. And then here's where the fun happens. See where my hand placement is? Yep, there you go. Didn't I tell you I always put my hand into something liquid? I know, I know my limitations. All right, and those will complete both of the cards. Moving over to some still shots for you. Um, I hope you had fun with this card with me. This was uh, very interesting to kind of use a shaker and do two cards, same but different. Um, the center is the same. I did a lot of different elements for the card. Tried to stay within the kit, but of course I used some extra elements. And that'll do it. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're not following me on Instagram, I do post a lot of still photos there, as well as my blog, my Facebook page, and Pinterest. Um, so I hope you'll join me there as well. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.